right and welcome to the start of another vlog i am trying something different this week and i am going to attempt the weekly vlog and we're gonna see what happens i'm interested in switching some things up on my channel i'm trying to find my right footing, my inspiration, my enthusiasm, I don't know. But I'm just dabbling in some different things and I'm obviously taking you guys along for the ride. So this vlog is going to be a week in the life, almost a week in the life. We'll see when I actually end up ending the vlog, but it's Wednesday and you've got me until at least Sunday. So today, as you can tell, I have this set up, my ring light and everything. This is actually still the middle of batch week. My last vlog was the start of batch week. It was Monday and today's Wednesday. So today's editing day. So see, I'm hanging out at the computer here. That's where I'm gonna be the entire day. I have six videos that I need to edit. I just finished one and it's the one that goes up tomorrow. And so now I've got five more to do. Super exciting, super fun. Editing day is the worst day, I hate it. Um, because it's just so much sitting at the computer. So I just went and finished my first video, like I said, ran downstairs, refilled my coffee, grabbed breakfast number two, which was, let's see, breakfast number one, the remnants is here, healthy eating all the time and go bar, 210 calories, nine grams of protein, and six grams of fiber. Love these bars, they're all my all time favorite. I say it every time and I'm gonna continue to say it. If you want a discount, Diva and the Divine hyphen 12, get you 12% off and I don't get anything for it. It's just for my love of the brand. And now in this paper towel, I have my Sandwich Brothers breakfast pita and I'm going to eat that 150 calories and 10 grams of protein. And then later on, I will have a Fairlife Nutrition Shake. I just wasn't feeling whipping up a Fab Four smoothie today. So I'm like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. And yeah, that's the update. Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to a new vlog. Here we go. I'm coming at you about nine hours after I last spoke to you, I think. I've been sitting in my office literally all day. I have less than 3,000 steps, and I don't know what I'm going to do about it. <laughs> Editing day is the worst day. And here's the kicker. I only did six videos. Six which means I still have a vlog, obviously weekly vlog. Hello, what I'm filming right now still needs to be edited on a regular basis, but could you imagine if I did all of my content this far in advance? I still have to figure out the exact um, balance, I guess. And we're going to try it with these weekly vlog things, see how it goes, and see if I get into a stride with the weekly vlogs. We'll see. I don't really know what's going to happen, but man, editing day is the worst, let me tell you. Um, so as a reward, I'm going to unbox my Revel nail order. I caved and placed an anniversary order from Revel Nail. For those of you who don't know, Revel Nail is the dip powder brand that I use. And for my nails, I love them. I love dip powdering. I can't wait. I have no nail polish on right now because I just ordered some colors that I'm going to put on before we go to Illinois next week for the 4th of July. So I'm just waiting and biding my time to uh, put those on the right way, you know, the right time. So let me show you what I ordered. Oh, so the first day of their anniversary sale was a sale on all of their glitters. Yeah, so I placed an order. So here is my Revel nail haul for this order. To be fair, other than my monthly subscription, I haven't gotten <laughs> placed an order in a really long time, but does that justify it? Probably not. So this is their birthday set that I'm a sucker and I got and it includes this pink color, but apparently this pink color glows in the dark and it includes this like birthday glitter and I pulled up the uh, web listing so I could show you what they look like on the web too. First let me go to the birthday set. That's what the glitter is supposed to look like and apparently this is what it looks like normally the other color the pink and then it glows bright pink in the dark which could be a lot of fun. We'll see. Then I got just a couple of colors that I've had my eye on for quite some time. This one is Laguna, which is a very glittery teal. This one is Carib, which is a very glittery, like, cor coral. I was going to say coral, like a tropical green. And then this one is Masterpiece, which is a shiny, crazy purple. Oh, it's a, like a Luke's crazy glittery thing. Um, so those are three that I have wanted for a while now. Then I'm a sucker. I'm a total sucker, 
and I got the set that I said I wasn't gonna get, but I'm a freaking sucker. I told myself I wasn't, I did not need, when they released this, I told myself I didn't need a 4th of July exclusive set because it's one day a year. I, like, there's no 4th of July season. I did not need a set of five 4th of July related cover, colors. And then I found out how to justify it. It has this beautiful matte red, and by matte I mean not glittery, red in it. It has this really gorgeous navy, which I think is that one. Yes, this one is the navy. Um, again, no glitter, which would make really great Florida Panthers manicures for my husband's hockey team. This blue is just gorgeous, and then these two glitters would be perfect for the 4th of July. So, and just to show you, like, here's the red, really pretty, right? And then the navy, beautiful. These would be great. And then this blue, gorgeous. And then for the 4th of July weekend, I'm going to be doing a manicure. Those will be, this white one will be my accent finger, and then this will be most of my hand. And so I <laughs> managed to justify the purchase. And then I got something really special. Um, I'm finally bought the stuff necessary to try chroming. And I have to make sure that my gel lamp is actually what is required, but this is the tack-free gel top coat. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to take a glitter or a specific formula of the dip powders that have chroming abilities, and it allows you to buff them and treat them differently, and you can chrome them. What do I mean by that? Take a look. So here's one of the colors I got, crown. When you dip it, it's this color, like this beautiful rose gold glitter, but when you chrome it, you can let you get a chrome color. So I got that one, I got the silver, and I got the purple. And so here's a little, like, just to show you guys, like that's what they have the ability to do, which is so stinking cool, I think. And so I'm gonna try it eventually. Like I'm going to do, my first manicure will be this, and then I'm gonna try a chrome manicure, I think, if the lamp that I have is enough. And I don't know if it is, I have to look into that. But anyway, that's my, that's my Rebel haul. Good Thursday evening to you. My husband just left for the evening for another work shindig. Look at him getting out and being all social. And so it's just me and my girl who's sitting here Wondering where daddy is. Look at her. Look at this pupper. Where's daddy? Anyway, I went and did a self-care thing today. I got a haircut. I don't, this is only my second time getting my haircut in the state of Minnesota. And yes, we've lived here for almost two years. It'll actually be two years next month. I think we officially moved here on July 19th or something like that. I don't remember, but it was it was mid-July. So it's almost two years since we've lived in Minnesota. It doesn't feel like two years because we lived a month downtown, then we lived three months in Florida, and we're traveling during the holidays. Um, but almost two years. And I've only gotten my hair cut twice here because I keep going home to my girl who's in Illinois who does the dye job, which now that I'm looking at it, you can't even tell. My blonde looked a lot brighter earlier today. I don't know, it must be the lighting. But, oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. Um, but she does my dye job, and so I will go and see her during the holidays or whenever I swing through town if she's available. She's not available next week while we're traveling. So I was like, and my hair was like getting heavy, getting long, and getting just like, it needed a facelift. The last time I had a haircut was in November. So I treated myself to a haircut, and I also treated myself to some new products. I got myself some Bumble and Bumble brand products, which is really, really good brand. I It's a brand I enjoy, but I don't splurge on often because my salons haven't used it and whatever, excuse, excuse. I got the surf line of their stuff because I've heard nothing but amazing things about that line, and it's great for summer hair because you guys know, like, my hair is blow-dried today, but the way I do it, especially in the summer, and the way that I have it cut is so it will curl and wave and kind of do this beachy thing all on its own and the surf line is supposed to assist with that sort of vibe so that's what I got I'm excited to try it out um, but that's literally the only exciting thing that happened today um, I got to zoom with my buddy Jordan also known as Clyde's daily life on Instagram I had to talk to him about a video that I'm working on um, so I got to talk to him for a bit which was kind of fun but other than that it's pretty business as usual so the question is my husband's not home for a few hours what kind of trouble can I get in while he's gone? Bonus to the haircut. Look at how easy that little ponytail is for me to put up. 
I'm still obsessed with the fact that I can finally do ponytails on myself thanks to these new headband uh, ponytail holders. But I, as much as I don't want to, I'm going for a walk. I really don't want to, but I really need to. So here I go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Just wanted to prove that I'm doing the thing. I am out for a walk. Well, I guess I don't get to take this road home, huh? I thought these went off at 7.30 and it is only 6.30. I guess I was wrong. So I thought it would be fun to share with you my evening skincare routine. This is all entirely from the brand called BioElements, which you can only get from a registered professional or on their website. I'm starting with their oil-based cleanser and you put it on dry skin and rub it in. And then I'm actually using a makeup eraser. I get the makeup eraser wet and it mixes really, really well with the oil-based cleanser to remove my makeup. Then it is time for cleanser number two, and this is their spotless cleanser, which is a salicylic acid based cleanser for my adult acne. As you guys know, I have been struggling with acne for quite some time and seeing my facialist, my esthetician and getting regular treatments as well as using the skincare routine has finally started helping my skin to behave as a 34 year old woman. And so I'm using the acne line twice a day, every day. Tonight is face mask night and I use this mask. This is the sulfur and amino mask twice a week in between my other exfoliating treatments. This is a mask specifically for acne skin. It also does a little bit of exfoliating as well to get rid of all of that dead skin. All I do is I put the mask on and let it sit for 10 minutes. And then when it's time to remove it, I have been using these goofy little washcloths that my mother-in-law actually got me for Christmas. It's a weird washcloth that gets really pliable and kind of almost slick and slimy feeling when it gets wet, but it dries hard. It's very weird. They're from Amazon, really inexpensive. I will link it down below, but it is a great way to remove a mask. After my mask comes my salicylic acid toner. I just put a little bit on a bamboo round and put it all over my skin. And then it's time for toner number two, which is the Soothing Reset Mist. I spray that on before my treatment. I'm using the Age Activist Serum. And as you can tell, I ran out, but fear not, ladies and gentlemen, I have a spare in my cabinet. I just take one pump and rub that into my skin and then it's time to follow up with my nighttime moisturizer which is called oxygenation it is great for acneic skin and my esthetician actually added in some inflammation inhibitor to keep redness at bay and that is the entirety of my skincare routine for the evening hello happy friday it's late it is 20 to 6 actually and this is the first time i'm picking up the camera today it has been a day y'all it has been a day but i wanted to share with you two things one i ordered some glitter eyeshadow stuff from this company that i used if you if you've been around for a while and you remember back when i was in my last show pippin i the makeup i had to do was glitter it like on my eyes it was fabulous i used this company called lit glitter or lit cosmetics not sponsored by the way and in an effort to use what i have i as i was going through my beauty drawers i found the stash of like eight or nine different glitter colors from them that i had and i was like you know what i need to go and reorder a base for every day i used the waterproof base from them for the show and it was really intense really really intense and um, I didn't want to do that every day which is why I stopped using them so I decided to go ahead and order the regular daily wear base for these glitters and I ended up picking up a palette too it happens um, because it was pressed glitter and I just wanted to play with it and for pride week it was actually on sale for half off I looked today and it was back up to the full price of like $38 and I got it for 19 I'm so jazzed um, so I just swatched these on Instagram actually and now that I'm thinking about it I should have filmed my swatches my entire arm was covered in glitter <laughs> um, but I have them on my eyes I don't know if you can tell just a little bit, not, not another stitch of makeup on, but a little bit of glitter because I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Um, because the company, so, so wonderful. When I unboxed the box, I discovered that there were two pots, full size pots of glitter in there. And I was like, wait a second. I, I didn't think I ordered any other glitter colors, just the palette. Well, I looked in there and I found a handwritten note that said, welcome back 
we missed you. So they acknowledged that I was a loyal customer previously and hadn't been around in a long time. And they sent me freebies, like legit freebies and a code for a free glitter of my choice next time I order. Like the customer service, and on this note also, was a pro tip on how to use the palette because it's a little bit different than the regular glitters. Handwritten. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Um, so that happened. I have a little bit of glitter on. I'm feeling, I'm feeling glittery. I'm feeling glam, even though I'm not feeling glam, actually. And that was the other thing that I want to talk to you about quickly. I'm having the I'm having a bad body day and I realized it's because I am in the height of PMS, like hardcore mood swings. Like I got on video with my coach today and I was like, you know how usually I'm telling you all the good things that are happening today. I need your help because I need you to hype me up. I feel fluffy. I feel thicker. I am just, I, I'm having like the voice in the back of my head telling me that it's time to cut like all of these things. It's awful. And then later in the day, I realized I was PMSing. Um, believe it or not, I got this oil from Young Living called Dragon Time, which is specifically meant for such a time as this. And I put it on, like I put some on my wrists and behind my ears and on my neck. And I actually felt better. I actually felt better. Um, so that's all that happened today. I have a rotisserie chicken staying warm in the oven. I bought ready-made mac and cheese from Good and Gather over at Target. And I went to the grocery store and got just a couple of some basic things because we're leaving in the middle of next week and that's that's it i worked out i did the elliptical i started a new tv show on hulu called diet land we'll see how that goes um but that's literally the update i have for you for friday it's not all that exciting sorry hello happy sunday there has been so much happening over the last 24 hours but i never picked up the camera yesterday but last night, I gotta tell you a saga, I gotta tell you a story about the drama that went down in the Inga Bretson household last night. So we were having a date night. It was a Star Wars themed date night. Really great. We're working on the Star Wars Lego sh set that we have. And we are we were re-watching the first movie. Not the one from the 70s, but like episode one. Because I decided it was video game night. And we were going to play through just like we did, because nerds that we are, with the Harry Potter series. My, my husband got the Harry Potter Lego series on um, PlayStation or Xbox. I can't remember what we played it on. We have all the systems. So we... He wanted to get me into the Lego video games and the way of course to do that is the way to my heart which is Harry Potter. So we we would go through and we would watch a movie and then we would play that movie on Lego and I decided being the good wife that I am and we're, he's kind of been like we've been re-watching Star Wars and getting me into it and everything. Long story short I was like let's do the same thing with Star Wars movies. Let's play the video game because we're working our way through the movies anyway. So we went back and we were in the middle of the movie and we even, we started using the pullout couch in our living room. We pull out the bed and put the cushy topper on it so we can lay reclined and watch TV in a state of comfort instead of me having to lay on the couch and him laying on the floor for his back, whatever the case may be. So we, everything was going fine. We're laying on the bed, we're watching things, whatever. And then out of nowhere, my husband flies out of that bed faster than I have ever seen him move in my life. Turns out, turns out, rewind, um, we have wasps around here. We have wasps around here. They like to make nests on our property. We've, we, we have wiped out several nests already this year, one outside our garage, one outside our front door, and there apparently was one right above our back door. Yesterday, we did something. We went out in the rain, had a fun moment. It was great. We left the door open because we were trying to coax Gracie outside in the rain and see what she would do. Your girl didn't think about the fact that there were wasps right outside the door. I wasn't sure that there was a nest and I never bothered to look, but in, in the past I have seen plenty of wasps fly right by that window by the door. One of them got in our house and we didn't know. And it decided to join us on the bed um, via my husband. And it stung him, not once, not twice, but three times in a matter of five seconds. No joke, he had a sting here, here, and it got him through his shirt on his shoulder. So we had to stop everything. I was like, we gotta Google first. I made sure he didn't go to like in, into anaphylactic shock or anything, which he didn't. He's not allergic to wasps, praise Jesus. Um, 
but like you could see like the hive starting you know the whatever and so i'm googling like crap what do we do what drugs do i put on it whatever and then i was like you know what forget it and i called my parents <laughs> Because I'm like, nurse mom is going to know what to do better than Dr. Google. And so I FaceTime and she's like, what? I'm like, wasp sting. What do I do? Apparently that's my dad's area of expertise. So I put my dad on and my dad's like, baking soda mixture. I'm like, oh, that's right. I couldn't remember what we did as a kid because I've only been stung like twice that I can remember. And I couldn't remember what we did. Um, so I made him a baking soda mixture, whatever. He managed to, while I was trying to to work out what to do with his one arm throbbing because he got stung three times. We managed to find the wasp. He, I guess, had stunned it enough that it was on the ground. And he found it because, of course, we were going to have to hunt for the stupid thing because wasps, unlike bees, wasps don't die after they sting you. Um, so he found it, smashed it on with, with a shoe, and but it was on our carpet. So apparently that was only enough to stun it and not completely kill it. Um, so we put it in one of those... Um, deli meat containers while it was stunned just to catch it you know and the stupid thing regained consciousness and is just sitting there while we're on the phone with my mom walking around the <laughs> deli meat container whatever so ultimately we ended up putting him in the freezer overnight to die a slow and painful death um because my mother also suggested or you can microwave it and i didn't really want to deal with that and i certainly didn't want to let him go um, or like risk him opening the th I, I don't know i don't know we froze him Anyway, it was a saga. It was a saga. But thankfully, everything is fine now. It's fine. Um, and then, so we finished our movie. We calmed down the adrenaline <laughs> rush, let go, and everything was fine. But like nothing else eventful happened yesterday. And so I just never picked up the camera. Today, however, again, nothing eventful is happening. But I want to tell you some things that are happening. Um, first of all, I did my nails. I did my dip manicure for the 4th of July. I don't know if you can really tell what that is, but... I'm here for it. I I wanted to do it maybe like Tuesday, but I had the time this morning. So I decided to do it after church. And now, now what I'm doing, my friends, is the most exciting thing of all. It is planner time. I'm going to sit down. I'm at my desk. I'm going to plan my week. But what happens this week, ladies and gentlemen? Well, if you're a life planner user with a planner that starts in July, you get to move into your new planner this week. Um, my daily duo starts on Thursday the 1st. So I'll actually be out of town and not able to use the first handful of days in my planner, but today is new life planner setup day for me, which is super, super exciting. So I thought I would just give you a little quick rundown of like the setup things that are going to happen today. I am going to, step one, write my name in the planner because that's how you claim it. You make it your own. It's like step one, the first piece of ink, which actually it isn't the first piece of ink because I already started the process of important dates, but to make it official, my name is going in the planner. Thing number two is to do all of the important dates that I already know are happening and put them in there. Birthdays, anniversaries, things like that. Appointments that I already have, vacations I know that we are taking, things like that will be going in the planner. And then I think the third thing I'm going to do for sure, for sure, is figure out what I want to do with this page right here, which is hard to see in the light. Um, but it is like the little monthly planning page. It's got a checklist. It's got a couple boxes. And um, we're going to see what I come up with for that. I've got some fun seasonal, um, what should you get? Stickers. That's the word I was looking for, stickers. And um, yeah, that's that's about it. So it's just, it's very exciting. I should pick, I need to pick a new cover. I really do. And I'm just realizing that my cover doesn't actually, oh, I know why my cover doesn't have my name on it because this is the replacement they sent me. My, my, the one with my name on it is actually over there. Um, I need to pick a new cover for like summertime themed. So we're going to do that and I'm going to plan in my new planner and I'm really excited and I thought I would share that with you. Also thought I would add because it is Sunday afternoon and why not? And I had the carbs to spare. Um, don't let these fool you. 100 calories, zero fat. Oh, this one says two carb. Baloney. You have to track something in a macro form for every calorie that's accounted for in this alcohol. I decided to track it all as carbohydrates, so it is 24 carbohydrates. 24? Yes, 24 carbohydrates for the 100 calories of a truly mixed berry because why not? All right, I thought I'd share with you what I've been up to other than making a complete mess of my workspace. I've got stickers everywhere. Down there is my bin of stickers. Stickers everywhere. 
markers everywhere. Crazy. Um, and I've been catching up on my friend's vlogs. You guys know Mindy. See Mindy Mom. She has a new channel, See Mindy Vlog. Um, so I've been catching up on those while I've been doing this. But I thought I would show you just a little bit of what my setup is. So you saw me write my name in the planner. Happy day. I have this set up and I haven't decided exactly what I'm plugging into here yet, but I really like the way it looks and how it's all color coordinated. And then here is um, just like, a, it's the year at a glance page, obviously. And what I'm doing is I'm just highlighting specific things. So what I have here so far, hot pink is when we're going to be traveling places. And um, the teal is going to be my presumed batch weeks. Those are subject to change, but um, like for November and December, I have no freaking idea what our travel plans are or when batch week is actually going to happen who the heck knows it might just be vlogging months I don't know um uh, intentional time off I haven't planned anything yet but I want to put the option in there and then I'm actually going to start highlighting my brainstorming phase because that's going to be different from my actual batch week I'm, I'm testing it out this month as I've mentioned in other videos or maybe I haven't mentioned it yet um, but I'm going to brainstorm my content when it is conducive to brainstorming time of month instead of when my batch week actually falls, which is really not conducive to brainstorming. So for me, I have a little highlight line right here. So it'll be right at the beginning of July that I do my brainstorming for this batch week that is this month's content. Does that make sense? And then we have... Um, things in the monthly spreads, nothing crazy dramatic, birthdays, travel, when my live streams are. This is the free live stream for everybody first um, Wednesday of the month. Yes, I moved it because I have rehearsal on Tuesdays and rather than get derailed by Tuesday rehearsals and have to keep changing things, I'm just going to bump my live stream nights to Wednesdays just so that doesn't happen. So that's um, what I'm writing down. And then these are the members only Zoom calls, which are going to be super fun. We did one last month and had a great time. And here, what I'm going to do is, I'm, these are going to be goals. I haven't found my sticker book that has a cute little goals sticker in it yet. And then this is going to be like a monthly to-do list item. For example, over in August, we have clean the vacuum cleaner because that's going to happen every month. Um, this page, I turned into a vlogist page. You guys are the first to know that I'm hoping to crank out vlogist this month or next month. Um, and I have room for ideas here. What would you like to see me do during Vlogist, ladies and gentlemen? Um, so that's, I mean, that's all I really did. I mean, okay, no, that's not true. I did, so like I plugged in, I plugged in some stuff here, right? And I decorated because I can't help myself. Like I'm not even going to be in town to use my planner and I still decorated because <laughs> I can't help myself. Look at that. Look at that beautiful 4th of July spread that's going to have nothing important written in it, but at least it's still decorated. <laughs> and I just realized I have two stickers that say 4th of July. Yeah, it's all good. Hello and happy Tuesday. This is going to be the last day of the vlog, but before we end it, I want to tell you a little bit about what's happening. We are getting ready to go to Illinois. I'm super excited about it, but that means today has been packing day. We have suitcases throughout the house. We're not bringing all that much, but it's still quite a bit. And um, I wanted to give you a couple of tips that I'm doing or show you what I'm doing, whatever you want to call it, um, to stay on track while I'm in Illinois. The first thing I'm doing is packing a food scale, a body scale, and my tape measure so I can accurately take measurements on the days that I am supposed to even though I'm going to be out of town. This seems excessive, I know, but it's what I need for me on my journey right now. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it shamelessly. Nobody in my family is going to question why I'm bringing these things along. They're really not because I have a lot of people in my family tracking their food as well. And um, the reality is there's no food scale at my grandparents' house and I don't actually know how many meals we're going to be eating there but I want to make sure I have the option to weigh my food when necessary. So bringing my own food scale because we're not flying anywhere is no big deal. It's absolutely no big deal. It doesn't take up that much space in my car. So I'm going to bring those things. Another thing that is going to happen is I'm going to bring my protein snacks. 
healthy eating all the time and go bars, eat me guilt-free brownies, RX bars, and I'm even gonna throw in some Fairlife shakes just to make sure that I have what I need to make sure I'm reaching my 140 gram protein goal every single day while I'm away. And I know there's going to be challenges we have. Unfortunately, we have a funeral to go to while we're in town. There's gonna be cookouts that we're going to be going to. We're going out for my mother's birthday. So everything that I can do to control as much as I can is going to help me out greatly. Will things be perfect? No, they will absolutely not be perfect, but I can do my best to make sure they come as close to on track as humanly possible. And that's what I need for me right now. And that is completely okay. My husband and I are actually driving separate cars to Illinois because we are getting rid of my green machine, which if you've seen my goals video, which actually you won't have seen my goals video by the time this goes up, but um, one of my goals for the month is to get rid of the Fiesta, which breaks my little heart because I love that car, but it's time. I have a new car. I got myself my own SUV and um, it's time to get rid of the not very precipitation friendly car. So actually what we've decided to do is we are donating it to the church that we went to in Illinois because they have a program that gives cars to people in need. So we're really hoping that we know it'll go to a good home. We're kind of hoping it goes to a home in the church so then the car is still hanging out in the parking lot of that church because I think that'd be really funny. But regardless, we'll be giving it to the church and they will make sure that she gets put to good use, which is just so it's a great use for that car. That car has been a blessing to me for so long. I love her. She's been so well loved and I'm happy to pass her on to somebody who needs her. So we're both driving separate cars down to Illinois and we'll only be driving one car back. So that's going to be happening. And all of this is stuff you will see in my next weekly vlog because it will be specifically my trip to Illinois. So if that is interesting to you and if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe so you can see all of the weekly vlogs that are to come and let me know ladies and gentlemen in the comments below how did you feel about this did you like the weekly vlog format would you like me to continue with the weekly vlog format i would love your honest feedback so leave that in the comment section for me and take care i'll see you next time